Whether you are a fresher or working professional, side projects are a great way not only to earn money, but also to polish your skill set so that you can increase your market value. Hello, my dear professionals. Welcome to Corporate Diaries. Today, we are discussing five amazing ways to get side projects and earn not only money, but also experience. So if that is something that interests you, keep on watching. The first and most secured way is to explore platforms which list these side projects or short gigs assignment projects on their platforms. And one such platform is Gig Vistas. This platform lists down short term gigs, projects, freelancing assignments on their platform through which you can earn money and also build your skill set for that project or that particular skill set. And the platform is pretty easy to use and all the side projects and gigs that you see listed on this projects are verified by Gig Vistas team. They, their support teams remain in constant touch with the employers who post these assignments, these projects, these gigs, so that you get only verified assignments on the platform. And also, as I said, it's not only about the money. Such projects add weightage to your profile especially if you're a young professional and you do not have experience of working with regular nine to five jobs much. So these projects, these side gigs can add so much weightage to your profile so that next when you apply for that big job, you have something to showcase that you have worked on. And who knows, tomorrow the projects through Gig Vistas pay you more than what you earn through your job. So I think it's a great way and everyone should explore such platforms. Now moving on to option number two, which is my personal favorite and I have seen some great people utilizing these ways, especially the young ones utilizing these ways and getting a lot of projects for themselves. And it is getting projects in offline market. This can be a huge win for you because it does not require you to produce 10,000 certification to certify that you are good enough to get those projects or you should have certain years of experience to be capable of doing those projects. So it's an amazing way. So try to understand it very carefully. So all of us see these small businesses around us, um, maybe that jeweler shop around the street or maybe a salon which people love or maybe a boutique which has a lot of visitors but does not really have online presence. So businesses like these are an opportunity for you. You might be knowing those people because you use their services or maybe you know them through a friend or just because you live in their neighborhood so they happen to know you. So you have a chance to utilize your skills or actually practice your skills whatever you have studied in your college or in your spare time these are the opportunities these are the projects that you get for yourself you target these uh, small businesses and you convince them that you will either register their business online that will get them much more customers or you can build their website or you can build a personalized app for them or you can get their video advertisements on Facebook pages, on YouTube, options are endless. I know in starting the money that you'll be receiving through these kind of projects may be small, but believe me, even if you can have like 10, 20% effect on their sales, you are going to be popular very quick. People in your surroundings will notice you and then you'll start getting projects from front. People will walk up to you to ask for the help, whatever you did for that small business, if you can replicate it for somebody else. So this field has endless opportunities because in India, unorganized sector is much, much bigger than what you see in organized one. So you have here an ocean of opportunities waiting for you. You have to just put in some effort and explore those projects for you. Now, moving on to our third way of getting side projects, which is through social media. You have to ensure that your profile screams out your skill, whatever you post on your profile, on your social media channel handle, it should scream out your skill set and let people gradually come to this conclusion that you specialize into this particular skill. It doesn't have to be something rocket science as simple as writing poetry. If you like writing short poetries in your spare time, keep posting them on social media and you will be surprised to know that if you keep on doing it consistently, you keep on posting uh, your poetries daily on your social media, one, it will improve your skill by default. Second, people will start associating you with that particular skill, will start treating you as an expert 
in that particular field and and you at this point in time might feel that who will pay me for a poetry nobody pays for a poetry but you never know there is so much demand for every skill that you can think of there is an audience there is a consumer for everything that you can think of as a skill set so do not let your talent be wasted whatever you are good at doesn't matter how it sounds to you you feel it is just useless or it is not something people want to pay money for you do not decide that you just put it out to the world consistently and let the world decide the value of it so now moving on to the fourth way which is getting projects through cold emailing i know it's an old school method but believe me it still remains a great way of asking for projects or getting those leads for your business let's take a very generic example you like editing videos you do it for your friends or uh, your party pictures you always put them together in a very nice way and everybody happens to love it so you have to be on youtube because that's where most of the video work happens so you have to follow people and you have to find the gap very smartly and then offer your services to fill that gap for example if somebody is posting videos say daily almost daily and the person does not have a large following so the chances are that person himself is doing all the editing work by himself and when you see people like these grow a little bit more it tends to get difficult uh, to manage everything by their own i mean it's not possible for a single person to do everything about the video editing uh, the scripting shooting video editing just producing the final product on a daily basis for a longer period of time he might be able to do it for a shorter span but later he will need help of someone so you can be that help so the point is you have to identify your skill you have to be sure of that and post that you have to be present on the right platform so that you can identify the gaps there and then can offer your services to fill that gap that can be for any company or any individual now the fifth way of getting the side projects is very unusual one uh, but it does work amazingly for experienced people who are very skilled in a niche skill set which is in high demand in the market so for example you are an employee and you are working on a certain skill set which is very niche your company is trying to hire more people in that skill but is not getting success with it so in such scenarios what you can capitalize on is that need of the company now you are already an employee in that company what you can offer them is that you have the resources who can fill this need who can work for the company but you will provide those resources on a agency model on a consultancy model to the company so the company will pay you for those resources you will keep your cut and then you will pay those resources obviously for this you need to have good network good skill set good people management skills and believe me i have seen people doing this and for some of them this model turns into a huge revenue which sometime outdo the salary that you get from your full time 9 to 5 job and it is an amazing amazing option try it if you haven't thought about it so far so guys those were five amazing ways to generate side income and let's summarize quickly number 1 exploring platforms which list down these side projects one such example is gig vistas number 2 getting side projects from the offline market number 3 getting projects on social media number 4 cold emailing and number 5 through a consultancy or an agency model so that was it hope this video helps you in some way you keep on watching more content on corporate diaries to be corporate ready and i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and healthy take care bye